So hello everyone. Today we are back with another podcast. I have a special guest with me, Kim, and we are going to be talking about senatorial candidate Florian Hillby and his senatorial campaign, his strategies, and how he will be able to improve these. So let's get right into it. This may sound a bit degrading to Filipino voters, but there was a survey on Philstar on the most effective way for candidates to win a Philippine election, and majority of the answers has something to do with money. Vote buying, bribing election officials, and popularity. Though this is far from Florian Hillby's character and other candidates who are really serious with their platforms and just want to be of service to the Filipinos. What do you think, Kim? I think they must really step down and give something solid to the Filipino voters. Hillby does not have to step down on traditional politicians' level, but it would definitely help him if he shows up in various social occasions just to make him known to the public. But money is also necessary for his campaign materials. It is not enough to only engage himself in social media, but also expose himself in TV advertisements because that's where he could get the attention of the masses. It's like all of his sterling qualifications will not be put to good use if he does not have the resources to showcase them to the public. Indeed, Chess, connection is also a key factor and since he has positioned himself as an opposition to the Duterte administration, it's also a huge loss for him since a large portion of Filipino voters are DDS or die-hard Duterte supporters. I absolutely agree with you, Kim. Although he possesses all of the qualifications and credentials to be a good senator, it is not enough for his journey to win the elections. As he always says, Walang imposibleng pangarap. A person with capability, credibility, and integrity. We need a Pilo Hilbay in the Senate. So I guess that would be all for this segment. Thank you, Kim, for being on the show. Thank you for having me.